Nurse Chloe Jennings on General Hospital was actually two separate people so it's understandable if some viewers might be confused. Phoebe Coleman made her debut in the May 10, 2021 episode but by the end of that show, Kimberly J. Brown, who played Mara Lewis for years on Guiding Light, was calling herself by that name. Let us explain. After discovering the information on the nurse Maxie Jones was planning to hire, Peter August intercepted Chloe Jennings at the Metro Court and introduced himself as the nervous father-to-be. He claimed his wife was on bed rest, so he was taking care of the interview for them and suggested they go somewhere more private to talk. Poor nurse Jennings had no idea what she was getting into. ABC however, the next time that Peter was seen, he was looking at M's, Jennings' driver's license and then slipping it back into her wallet before disposing of the entire thing in a dumpster under some large black trash bags, leaving the woman's fate uncertain. Hearing Maxie wouldn't let him anywhere near his child, for good reason, Peter wanted to make sure that the nurse she hires is on his payroll and will do his bidding. Which was why when the nurse appeared at Maxie's door, the young woman in the scrubs was definitely not the real Chloe Jennings. Wearing an earpiece, the nurse relayed the answers that Peter fed her so that Maxie would happily hire her on. Maxie quickly regretted her choice of healthcare provider. ABC Chloe later followed Peter's orders to drug Maxie and bring her to a cabin where she would induce labor while Peter arrived with a helicopter to take them all away. But Maxie had plans of her own and scalded the nurse with hot tea and before knocking her out to escape. After recovering, the fake nurse Jennings eventually tracked Maxie down in the woods and saw that she had already given birth to her baby girl. She knocked out Austin Holt, then went after mother and daughter. But Maxie had prepared a trap and the nurse found herself plunging into a deep pit. And when Dante Falconeri investigated the location afterward, they found her dead body still there. However, in August, it was revealed that the real nurse Chloe Jennings was still alive and being held in the same prison where Drew Kane had been for years. She wasn't wearing cuffs because while she was being held prisoner, she was also working as a nurse, so Drew enlisted her to help escape. Stay tuned to GH to see if Chloe makes it out alive with Drew. And if there might be yet another Nurse Jennings out there somewhere. Love GH? Be sure to join our We Love General Hospital Facebook group to chat about all the latest storylines and juicy gossip. Adblock Test, why?